Dowd is dead. I have avenged the Empress. Okay, we'll just look around before moving on. of Black Sally. Excerpt from a popular story of crime and daring, by Jules Robin and the City Watch. Before Slack Joran the streets in the distillery district, there was no boss more ruthless, violent or dedicated to squeezing the average citizens for coin than Black Sally. Like so many from Morley, she was pale-skinned and green-eyed, with hair as black as the void. They say that she started young, and as a girl she'd stun a man with her looks, coming upon him in an alley, then smile a one-sided smile and suddenly run him through with a knife. She'd have his money and be on her way before he breathed his final breath. As a boss, she was worse, ruling over the meanest street gang Dunwall had seen up to that time. Her operation touched everything from shipping to prostitution. She even had a racket going with the baker's guilt. A finger in every pie, indeed. One man, watch Captain Jules Robin, made it his mission to stop her, and kept the case going for half a decade. Black Sally met her end when Robin had his men light smoke fires in barrels, near the warehouse where she hid out during the day. As she and her gang rushed into the streets, terrified the building was burning, Captain Robin and his top officers threw nets over them and ran them all through with blade and pistol shot. Empress Jessamine Cauldron Excerpt from a book on the late Empress Many of those who lived through the rain will weep until the ends of their lives over the pale beauty with the piercing eyes, and the foul end she met at the hands of her own twisted servant and protector. In her father's day, the Cauldwins were thrust in the limelight despite their distance to the throne, when the former dynasty provided no heirs. A prosperous age followed the Emperor. But his daughter would have different luck. During a short life, political intrigue and minor conflicts created cracks in the empire, undermining unity across the Isles. The Rat Plague, however, 
was a tariff for which neither Empress Caldwin nor any other living being was prepared. Dowd. I am satisfied. Carvel would have been very useful to me, but your improvisation was exemplary. Him taking the fall for the crime simplifies matters greatly. I hope you are equally satisfied with the payment. I shall contact you shortly for additional assignments. HB. The Rochelle Chamber of Commerce. Excerpt from a book covering the various districts across Dunwall and their histories. Once the financial heart of the Empire, the Rochelle Financial District was a hive of trade activity. No district employed more barristers, accountants, or indeed more security, and no part of Dunwall saw a greater flow of coin. When the flood barriers broke and the waters rolled in, the looting that followed was accompanied by an epic period of chaos and butchery. Those who could withdraw and move the assets did what they could. Others, with their wealth tied up in grand mansions and artwork, lost it all. When the last of the high society set had withdrawn and the lights went dark, Rudshaw was a gloomy, crumbling shell of what it had been, inhabited by thieves, wild dogs and rats. Once great palaces of commerce sat empty and haunted, or come to house killers and mercenaries, as well as anyone else looking to hide from the city watch. In mere months, the flooded district was settled upon as the most proper name for the place. The Royal Protector Excerpt from a historical record of government positions and ranks. Throughout the ages, rulers have always faced attempts on their lives. Once in a generation the empire is rocked by the death of a powerful political or religious figure. As such, city-states across the Isles have devised varying strategies for protecting their leaders. In the capital city of Dunwall, each new emperor is allowed to appoint a royal protector. This is far more than a trusted bodyguard. Much more revered than the hand-chosen guards defending Dunwall Tower or the food tasters, the Royal Protector is a court figure, given enormous latitude, who keeps constant company with the highest ruler in the known world. At the age of 12, the young monarch participates in the selection process, making the final decision about who will safeguard his or her life. While most of those chosen as royal protector have been men, several times throughout history, a woman has served well in the role. For the first time in Dunwall's history, a monarch has been slain by her own bodyguard. At the time of this writing, with Dunwall in the grip of the worst plague ever recorded, our fair Empress Jessamine Caldwin has just been murdered. The deed was done by her former royal protector turned assassin, Corvo Atano who is still sitting in Coldridge prison awaiting his deserved execution. Some argue that it is worth noting that Corvo Atano is the first royal protector in the history of the Empire born outside of the Isle of Gristle.
the lighthouse. Excerpt from a recent historical work on Kings Peru Island. Kings Peru Island sits in the middle of the Renhaven River, and up through the previous century, it was only used by fishermen and for occasional religious ceremonies. During the time of the Morley insurrection, a fort and naval dock were added to the island, as a means of protecting the city from attacks by sea. In the time of the Rat Plague Crisis, shortly after the tragic death of Empress Jessamine Caldwin, Dunwell's acting regent Hiram Burroughs commissioned the construction of a modernized military installation and lighthouse on the island. Burroughs Lighthouse, only recently completed, is widely considered to be one of the marvels of the modern age, coming with cycle of technologies, powered by processed whale oil.
flooded the district until I found the rune in Boat Charm.
so that's it. We're closing down. After all these years, after we just unveiled the new statue of Jessamine called Wynn, a broken wall and some rising water, and we're just going to abandon the building and split up our offices in the Lyser districts. Are you insane? Has your brain turned to plague rats? Have you been drinking the outsider's piss? Any of these explanations I would accept sooner than the relocation assignments we all found on our desks this morning. If this is truly how you plan to operate as our director, then no, I will not accept my relocation orders. Consider this my resignation, Percival Cox, former deputy chairman, Rudd Shore Chamber of Commerce. That's disgusting. The torturer had a self-portrait.
like there are still more reason to go charms to get before heading back to the pub. are greedy. They will never give back what they have taken.
new kind of guard? Like a tall boy? Can't be. Doctor, maybe? Ugh, just kidding. Assassin, maybe. Passing through, huh? Hoping to catch a ride on the plague wagon. A few come through here trying. And they fall and break their necks. That won't stop you. You're almost there. It's pretty easy to get to the rooftops from here. You'll see the way. What do you want from me? To rob me? Looking for a quick roll in the mud? To rescue me? Well, I am not going anywhere. I came here all on my own, and I'm staying right here. Do you think it's better out there? I hate to break it to you, but this is it. This is Dunwall. What you see right here. Flooded district, estate district, anywhere else. It's all gonna be the same soon. Don't you have a plague wagon to catch? Yes, I will leave you to die in peace. Good day. Impossible. said that I should get onto the roof. <laughs> 